Hey dreamers and welcome to Dreamers Unite, the talk show for dreamers. I am your host, Sherry Pullum, and as always, I am deeply honored and grateful that you are spending time with me today because you could be doing anything else, but you decided to come to Dreamers Unite for encouragement, to be uplifted, and to say, you know what? How in the heck, maybe I can get some information that can help me get one step closer to my dream. No dream is too big or too small here on Dreamers Unite. And we have people on this show from all walks of life. Well, today I have a, I think she's a superstar. She is young, she is talented. She has an incredible voice. And because we do talent showcases, you're gonna get a chance to hear a little bit of this young woman's amazing voice. Her name is Lotus. So Lotus is a recording artist born in Brooklyn, New York and raised in Newark, New Jersey. She has always been passionate about the arts, listening to artists like Erica Badu, Jill Scott, Wu-Tang Klang, and Rick James. Through her music, she aims to depict compelling and inspiring narratives. Recently, she released her first single, Retrograde Jam, which you're gonna get a little taste of today, along with a self-directed music video. She is now working on her first EP, which is scheduled for release in 2021. Let's welcome to this channel, this talented young artist to Dreamers Unite. Thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about your upbringing and how did that influence your music? Yes, well, um, as you said, I was born in Brooklyn, raised in Newark. Um, I'm an only child and so um, growing up, I was always like up under my parents and they were, big, big music fans. Um, they were always playing music in the house and taking me to local concerts and shows. And so I really feel like they definitely instilled like a love for music in the very beginning of my life. So, um, you know, and definitely growing up in Newark, um, just knowing the history, Whitney Houston, Sarah mm -hmm. Vaughn, just like big powerhouse women, black women who um, have paved the way for so many other artists is just really inspiring to me um, as an artist. And they definitely have helped shape my sound. Um, and so, yeah, like definitely Jersey Pride <laughs> is, uh, is what fuels my sound, yeah. Yeah, and I also love the fact that you are, you know, shouting out some legends. Yes, yes. That your parents clearly were like, we want to give you the real deal. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the singing gift? Where does that come from, do you think? Um. I don't really know. I mean, my parents um, don't really sing. They do love music, like I said, um, but they don't sing at all. I um, just showed an interest at a young age. And so um, I was in all, every choir I could be in. Um, I was always singing around the house. I had a little karaoke machine. I put on a show for my family whenever I could. Um, and I guess like throughout the years, it just developed more and more. Um, and now I songwrite too. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy how it all played out. <laughs> Was this your dream? Did you, all, you said from a young age, did you know, hey, I'm a singer, mom and dad, I'm a singer and I'm a songwriter. When did you tap into that gift? Um, yeah, definitely. I, I knew this was a dream I had from a very young age. You know, I would look doe-eyed at all the videos on MTV and um, just really like picture myself in um, these artist's shoes when I would see them um, performing. Um, and so when I when I started songwriting, it, it really didn't start so much as songs. It was so poetry. Um, you know, writing for me has also been like a creative outlet. Um, I used to write screenplays, poetry, short stories. 
And um, yeah, it kind of evolved into songwriting, just the marrying of the two creative outlets that I had um, recently, actually, um, I would say in college is when I really uh, turned to songwriting as a way to just um, release, I guess you could say, um, for myself. I didn't even plan on sharing it um, until my friends kind of pushed me <laughs> to. So, yeah. We need people, we need support. Yeah. To be able to, when, especially when we know it's something we wanna do, but we don't have the courage because we're afraid. Are your parents supportive of you? Yes, they are. They are. Say, oh, an artist. Are you going to starve? You know, <laughs> that's not true. But I'm saying there are many. You know, that's the stereotype, right? Yeah, definitely. No, they're they're definitely concerned about you know whether or not I will be able to you know sustain myself and live comfortably. Um, but they also are supportive because they know it's something I'm passionate about. You know, my mom uh, helps me when I'm doing my music video. She makes sure that I'm like happy with my outfits and um, that my ideas are coming to fruition. So um, definitely shout out to mom for that. <laughs> shout out, mom. I love shout outs to moms. Hey, <laughs> shout out to you. Good job. <laughs> so it's a family affair. It is. It is. Yes. Um, so where did the inspiration come from for your first um, release, which you're going to sing for us a little bit of it shortly? I'm so excited because I love the song, Retrograde. <laughs> where did the inspiration come from? Um, well, you know, I felt throughout my life as a Black woman in different spaces, professional, creative, um, and in general, you know, we're definitely challenged, oftentimes um, encouraged to remain silent. And um, in, in a lot of ways, I feel like Black women influence culture. Um, and so I think it's just daunting to think that, you know, we've impacted history and culture in so many different ways, and yet we're still marginalized and silent and not cared for in, in the eyes of the public. And um, it was just a way for me to express all of those feelings. And so like the title is Retrograde and um, us millennials are like ast astrology mavens. So we love um, to get into that. But retrograde b basically means um, when uh, the planets are a little out of alignment. And so it affects like how we feel and things are a little out of whack. And, um, you know, sometimes things are a little out of whack when you're moving uh, and through different spaces as a black woman. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the inspiration behind the song. That is beautiful. And we need to hold space for ourselves mm -hmm, definitely. and for other black women as well. We need to yeah. hold space. I'm excited to hear a little sample of it. Are you ready? I am. Give me one second. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting to feel like the sun don't shine no more. I'm starting to feel like my rhymes don't rhyme no more. I'm starting to feel like the stars in the line no more. Living in toxic masculinity, this shit is ending me. Living in black skin, the white girls wearing it like it's a trend as a means to an end. It's really weird. Black hair don't make you a king, and big afro don't make me a queen. I don't got the long hair on nails, thick ass, because I got my love to use in my fat belly. You know, Kia taught me, MJ brought me, but I ain't worried about it. Yeah. I just jam. I don't wait for the clouds to clear up. I just jam. Cause don't shit last forever. I'm in retrograding. I feel my age, but I've been retrograding. Cause I'm in retrograding. I feel my age, but I've been retrograding. I'm in retrograde and I feel my age, but I've been retrograde and it's a, it's a 
sad, sad story, a bad, bad story. I need a crystal, I need a prayer, I need a compliment, I need a stare. I feel you watching over me, there's always comfort there. It's always college and friends, college and then working events, working events, social and media, social and woke. I can't be broke, I'm retrograde, a retrograde i I'm the retrograde and I feel my age, but I've been retrograde I'm a retrograde and I feel my age, but I've been retrograde Slow it down, slow it down like Ah, damn Ah, just damn Ah, damn Jim, Jim. Ah, I just Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's retrograde. Yeah. Yes, retrograde. <laughs> Let me give you some of that and show you <laughs> love on that. Thank you. That's, you can hear the influences, especially the Erica Badu. Thank you so much. Yes, I love Erica so much. <laughs> Yeah, you are doing her proud right now. You are doing her proud. How is it getting out there? Where can people find it? How can they download it? Yeah, so Retrograde is available on all major streaming platforms. So Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, um, and the music video is also available for streaming on YouTube. And yeah, so check it out. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to check it out. Listen, <laughs> you need to check out Lotus Retrograde. So much. Yeah. You have a very unique sound, too. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, you're not just cookie cutter. And it's often said by some industry insiders that the sound now gets to be kind of cookie cutter, right? Mm. Yeah. You don't have that cookie cutter sound. It's so very unique and fresh and original. Thank you so much. That's something special. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we can see your writing, and I can for sure, um, ability as well. Yeah. And, and also, I think it's important as a writer, and I write as well, not music, um, but plays and poetry and as a writer, it's important that we tell our own truth and that we have that freedom to be authentic. And, yeah. uh, and what I love the most about watching you, I was thinking, wow, she's enjoying herself. <laughs> enjoying her own beats, her own music, her own rhythm, and her own words. <laughs> yes, Lotus, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Of course, yes. So you have a big move coming up. I do, I do. Oh, up soon. All about it. <laughs> Talking about dreaming and making your and taking a uh, leap of faith. So you're moving Definitely. to California. I am Los Angeles, California. What's your goal? What What do you? Why are you going there? Well. Um, as much as I love my hometown in Jersey, um, I've just been here my entire life. Um, I've lived on the same block, same house. Um, you know, I've uh, networked with so many people, gotten a lot of great experience and exposure performing over here. But I do think that it's time for me to spread my wings and, you know, network in a, a different a different environment and i feel like it'll definitely inform my creativity um being able to um just be in a different space really and also um you know a lot of the artists that i listen to that are modern um and current um are influenced by california artists or actually are from california i've noticed mm -hmm. so um I'm excited to hopefully collaborate with some of the artists that um, I've been listening to for a while. And um, yeah, I just feel like California is definitely the move for me at this point in my life, yeah. I think that's beautiful. And I think you're young and you need to go ahead and take that chance. Yes. Go and see what's out there. Um, my grandfather said, used to say, and probably a lot of, 
of older folks in that generation used to say, get on out there and see what might drop on you. What might <laughs> Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I wish you much success for sure. And I know you're going to be very success successful. And then you can come back on Dreamers Unite and tell us, we're going to keep up with you, Lotus. Yes, definitely. What's going definitely. On. And uh, you're going to come back and we're just going to keep watching your journey for sure. Um, what do you want people to know about you as an artist? Um, I would love for people to know that, um, you know, as an artist, I don't think you can really label me as one thing. Um, you know, I, the reason why I chose my stage name as Lotus is because um, the Lotus flower represents um, rebirth, starting anew, constantly evolving. Um, and I really feel like those uh, ideas um, really encapsulate me as an artist and that I am constantly involving um, experimenting with different modalities and you know I'm learning uh, music production now um, I'm hopefully uh, going to use my screenwriting uh, in the future um, and you know I, I just want to explore different avenues of my creativity always and even within music you know um exploring different genres and influences in my music so you know don't expect just one thing from me basically and i can't wait to see what else you have in store for us what else you have in store for the planet as you evolve um yes i'm excited to share like all my new music that i've been working on so definitely yeah. exciting it is exciting and as exciting as it is i know that sometimes you know things get tough right so we like to, on Dreamers Unite, we like to talk about tough times too, because we all need to be inspired and be uplifted and, um, and helping others to show them, you know, if I could do it, I made it through this tough time. So sharing a story of a tough time for me is always important and it's important to hear it because we all face tough times. So how do you get through challenging times? Oh, good. That's a great question. Um, through, I, the way I get through challenging times is definitely um, by writing. For me, it's, it's you know, my, my art is a way of um, finding therapy. And I feel like um, everybody just needs that outlet um, to really just release whatever they might be feeling or holding on to. Um, and writing things down I feel like is a great way to just um, release whatever might be going on um, within, you know, um, and also just being inspired by other people. I like to, um, you know, look at how other people are creating and um, it just, it, it, it inspires me to keep going, right? When you see other people doing well, it's like really awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's great because we can just allow ourselves to be open and be inspired by others, you know, and, and I'm gonna encourage dreamers because it can also work the other way too, right? As people look on social media and they feel like everyone's living this fabulous life and sometimes right. they are and sometimes they're not. Right. <laughs> you know, that we're trying to just all make it the best way we can. Um, and I will encourage and inspire others, as you said, to, be encouraged by other people and not compare yourself to other people because right. we're tempted to do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say like as an artist, um, sometimes you get caught up in the numbers um, because everybody loves to see like, you know, lots of engagement on their pages, you know, likes and views and comments, all those things. Um, and so um, when you see like, local artists getting more traction more more engagement it's like oh well how can i like why am i not getting that but you know it's just really helpful to ground yourself and remind yourself that everybody's journey is their own mm -hmm. and you know if you use that as fuel to try to um you know think about how you can better yourself and also just um you know keep keep creating like you know i i always tell myself that um, the more you do it, the better you get. So it doesn't matter what the other guy is doing. If you just stay focused, um, you know, it's almost a numbers game. Like practice really does make perfect. perfect. So 
Um, I'm just really trying to um, hone my craft. Um, I'm taking my time with this next release um, for that very reason. Um, you know, I felt that with Retrograde Jam and um, some of the other songs that I've released, um, I felt like an urgency because I saw other creatives like putting out music and I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta do it, I gotta do it. Um, but now I'm taking a step back uh, in a breather um, to really just slowly um, cultivate the sound that I really want. And I feel like I'll definitely be proud of the product um, no matter who sees it because I know I put my 100% all into it and not really worried about like um, keeping up with the Joneses, you know? So. Yes. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm <laughs> familiar, but I catch nuggets and I'm just catching one from you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna share it with our dreamers. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. right? Just be true to who you are. Yes. And don't worry about the time. Enjoy the process. And I am guilty too sometimes where it's, you feel it's hard to enjoy the process sometimes because we do feel some this sense of urgency. Like I've got to get this out. My goodness, the world is waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. you're waiting for it. Exactly, you're waiting for it. You're the one, like you said, that you have to please. And practice makes perfect. Keep mm -hmm. working your craft. I'm taking a couple of those nuggets and. <laughs> I'm throwing them to you, dreamers. Catch those nuggets. That's great advice, um, Lotus. Beautiful advice. Yeah, I receive it, and I hope our dreamers receive it, too. I think they yes. do. Me, too. Where would you like to see yourself, and who do you want to work with when you get to California? Let's claim that for you and with you. Oh, yeah. Um, well, one of my major influences is Tyler, the creator, um, uh, just because he also, um, uh, works with many modalities. He's a producer, he's a creative director for all his videos and, um, uh, a writer as well. And I really respect his, his artistry. Um, and so I would love to work with him as well as SZA, um, because she, is currently in LA, but she's from New Jersey, right in Maplewood. So, um, and I love her sound. She's, um, her la last album, Control, was um, very, very refreshing and honest, um, I feel like from a, a woman's standpoint. And she really um, talked about um, a lot of the intricacies that, that um, come with relationships and just accepting yourself and self-love and all those things and I really feel like she's so so awesome and unique so I would love to work with Sisa. yeah <laughs> I'm confident that you're gonna come out and shake up California <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait to have you back on really yes, and yes. come back and these things that you're claiming right now we could probably pay, play a little clip and <laughs> working with SZA I'm going to claim that you will be, not might be, but what you <laughs> will be. I have a sentence for you that I want you to complete. I came to this planet to... Ooh. I came to this planet to inspire. Yeah. That. I see that Lotus yeah. and you are doing that oh thank you, you know, thank it you. certainly inspired me and inspired thank me like I said I'm honored to have you on the show I'm thank so you. glad that we connected and you just keep doing what you're doing keep growing oh. and evolving that is the perfect name that's a perfect stage name for you and the perfect name for you um, as you grow and inspire and evolve um, and as Michelle Obama says keep becoming oh yes yes keep becoming thank you so much for sharing this time and space with me thank and you. if you have not done so yet you know what I'm gonna say at this time subscribe <laughs> okay subscribe what are you waiting for um, for more wonderful content like this refreshing young artist lotus and look at you just got a free you're not gonna always get her for free okay you're not gonna always hear this 
beautiful, talented, young artist singing for free, but you did get it today on Dreamers Unite. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm looking forward to you coming back and joining us again. Lotus, thank you so much again for your time and sharing all your gifts with us and your dreams. Yes, and thank you. Dreamers, we will see you again next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Feeling like we about to make the news Cause someone finna die If they try to fill my shoes ay, ay, ay. So what you wanna do Gotta bring it back What's the facts I told you that I loved you And I meant that Can you open your eyes Like where the signs at Put your pride aside And let the trauma subside And come on through So I could slide Look into it